there's the first car ever to use the whole world as a test track, the 1958 Ford. And behind the wheel is the man who is in charge of driving this round-the-world Ford, one of America's most experienced automotive authorities, independent test driver Danny Ames. Hi there. Danny, you've driven all kinds of cars and all kinds of performance tests. How did Ford's round-the-world drive stack up against the others? Believe me, it was the roughest, toughest test ever given any automobile. We were on the go constantly for almost four months, over roads the like of which you'll never find in the States. We really punished that Ford. We had to. We had a tough schedule, and we had to drive hard to keep up with it. And that Ford sure delivered everywhere we took it, up steep mountain grades, across hot, dusty deserts in Iran and Afghanistan and Pakistan through jungles where we drove for days over rough, narrow roads like this. It was mean driving practically all the way, and this new Ford really proved it's got the muscle and the guts to tackle any situation anywhere in the world and come out on top. And you know, all the time we were gone, there wasn't a single mechanical failure. We didn't replace a single part except for tires and spark plugs. And today, after the beating we gave it, the body is still tight, and the engine runs as smooth as the day we started. Believe me, Ford can be proud of its cars. Ford used the whole world to prove the 58 Ford's rugged sturdiness under the roughest, toughest conditions. There's nothing newer in the world than the 58 Ford.